Super Robot back again with another Penny Stock video and this was uh, kind of requested from the community so I thought I'd do follow-up video on GVSI you know the last time we talked about GVSI we were speculating on what the merger could be uh, and we were taking a look at Propy in particular as a possible candidate um, I do want to preface this video saying you know this is all speculation uh, based on just you know the limited information that's publicly available so it's by no means confirming any type of merger here. Uh, it's by no means, you know, trying to pump the stock or anything like that. It's just uh, essentially us having fun and squeezing out a little more speculation here and taking a little deeper look at uh, the recent series of events that have happened with the stock. And uh, essentially we're going to find out soon either way, as you'll see in just a moment. I do want to take a look at the chart first because it's shaping up really nice. You can see it did have a double top, but we made a higher low on the uh, retrace. And that 200-day moving average is starting to curl up, which is nice. So we're now trading above that uh, consist consistently. Uh, we've also sliced through all three resistance levels today. So all three of these resistances, which were key resistances, especially this uh, 0202 area, was an extremely key resistance. As you can see, we got double rejections there last time. We're now above that, so that's very positive. The levels I have mapped out next are 0.269 and 0.325. Uh, and over, over 0.325, there's quite a bit of room, we see here, quite a bit of room. Uh, time will tell if we ever repeat as big of a run as it did back in the glory days of OTC, but the chart is certainly shaping up really nice uh, from the weekly perspective as well here. So all's positive in that regard. Let's take a look at the recent developments with GVSI, and then we'll do a little bit more speculation uh, with Propy. So it starts here with January 25th update. Uh, he says GVSI continues to negotiate with two prospects. And also on January 9th, he said, back in Miami for more meetings with blockchain groups. So... That leads us back to GVSI, which is, of course, American Blockchain Corporation. And you can see today they tweeted, GVSI, she said yes. And that's the news everyone has been waiting for uh, for about, what, three years now, if not a little longer. So obviously a very exciting day for the GVSI fans, uh, myself included. And... You know, you can see from December 28th as well, they did find a solution to their name change issue and things like that. So, sounds like we're getting a merger coming in here, right? Now, if we take a look at Sharp's profile, a few things to look at. First of all, he says Monday. So, that tells us that we're probably going to get the GVSI news on Monday. He also said... Upon completion, I'll be returning 300,000 GVSI preferred B shares to Treasury. Always good to see. Okay, and then he says, this is how bad you guys are at this. The Twitter account profile was updated last night. So he's basically teasing us by saying he updated the American Blockchain Corporation profile last night and nobody caught it, right? So what does the profile say now? Well, it says American Blockchain Corp has entered into a non-binding LOI to acquire significant interest in an established USA-based blockchain and cryptocurrency enterprise. Now again, I want to remind you that he was just in Miami for meetings with blockchain groups. So this leads us back really to our speculation with Propy. Because Propy is of course, as you can see right here, a blockchain group in Miami. And we also had the connections, if you go back and watch the other video, you can see there were a few different connections to Propy that we found. So let's take a bit of a closer look at Propy one more time. Just in case we're right about all of this. Well, first of all, here's the CEO. And you can see that the CEO is a woman. 
which lines up with the tweet, she said yes. So he very may well be uh, subtly hinting at the fact that the she is Natalia Karanyeva. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, so I apologize. But he may be referring to her. If that's the case, let's take a look at some tweets I found from her that were interesting. Here's from March 15th uh, of 2023. She says, Our teen is having a major annual contest on entrepreneurship. What are the best movies slash documentaries to help understand the big picture, how startups slash going public slash equity works? This is a huge stretch, but hey, she says going public here. So that could be something. <laughs> okay, on to the next one. This is a tweet I found from user Hokeyhead at, at One Man Circus 43. He was replying to a tweet of hers. She said, the secret of patience is to do something else in the meantime, keep building. He replied and found this interesting uh, little piece of DD here, which is Propi had two equity raises. So do you guys plan on going public anytime soon? And you can see that an equity raise 2020 and in 2022. This is often a sign that, you know, the company would like to go public in the future. So uh, their investors can, can make an exit and profit on their investments uh, in the equity raise, right? So... That could, is, is certainly a sign that Propy could be going public as well. And then this is really interesting. Uh, this is from November 13th, 2023, uh, from user 55vet uh, at Cowboys5515763. Don't know why he put all the numbers there. Thanks, Ben. But <laughs> he uh, asked the question, you know, to Natalia here, uh, CEO of Propy. He said, how about taking it public? Lots of interested potential investors watching closely. And she said, we need three years of non-bureaucratic operations to get there. Now, I'm not sure at all what she defines by non-bureaucratic operations. It's extremely vague, but I can tell you this. I can tell you that if we search Propy, and when Propy launched, you, you can see in 2019 they post Propy celebrates two years since its token launch. So the company has been around and operating for well over three years. So I'm not sure if this is just her way of avoiding an answer or whatever, but it's a very interesting response, is it not? Because this would imply that they do intend to go public. And we've certainly been past three years of non-bureaucratic operations. So with all that being said, I guess we'll find out soon enough, as George Sharp said Monday. So fingers crossed it's something awesome if it's not Propy. But I do think it was a fun thing to take a look at here before we get the official news. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed. Take care.